my name is Kelly McElligott and I'm one of the educators here with Bywire Solutions and I have a short tutorial on paying fines in Koha. There are a couple of different ways that you can pay a patron's fines within Koha um, depending on whether you're paying a full amount of what they owe, a partial amount, a specific item, or possibly writing off that patron's um, fines. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up an account um, that I know has fines attached to it. And here in the checkout screen, I can go ahead and see on the right hand screen the attention and how much this patron has. I have two quick buttons here that I could go ahead and pay all fines. Click that and bring me right to that screen. I could go ahead and make a payment here or I could use that fines tab on the left. I'm going to go ahead and click make a payment. This will bring me to the pay fines tab here in the account, um, the fines area. I can see the three um, charges that are on this patron's account and all of them are actually pre-selected for me, giving me the total. If I go ahead and hit clear and I wanted to just pay one of these items, I could click one of them and say, yep, they're going to pay for this loss item of cat fun and I could go ahead and hit pay selected. Koha will then be able to give me a total of that one item and allows me to make a note about that. So I'm just going to write that they gave it to me in a check. And I can go ahead and confirm that. This will now default me over to the account tab um, and it kind of gives me an overview of the charges as well as payments. I'm going to go back over to my pay fines tab and now my um, balance for this patron has reduced to $10.75. Um, if I wanted to go ahead and um, pay a specific amount, the patron just had um, $10 in their pocket, but they definitely wanted to try to um, finish up their account with us, I could say um, pay amount and this would give me the opportunity to go ahead and put in an amount of money that I'm going to collect from the patron. And I'm going to say $10. Once again, I have that note field if I wanted to put a note in there. And then I'm just going to hit confirm. Once I do that, it's going to again bring me over to that account tab and show that that $10 amount was received. In my pay fines tab, I actually have the um, 75 cents is still owed on this patron's balance. Um, and now I'm going to just show you how to write off. Obviously, every situation is different and when we're going to use the write off um, opportunity um, here in Koha, but I'm just going to show you how to do it. So if I wanted to write off this last 75 cents, I could go ahead and um, click this write off. I could click this write off. I find it very important to put a note when I do a write-off just so I know um, if I were to look back at this or another staff member were to look back at this. And let's say the copier put a streak in the, um, in the paper. And then I'm going to go ahead and click write-off. Koha will then want me to confirm, are you sure you want to write off this amount of 75 cents? I'm going to do that right off this charge. And now um, Tinkerbell doesn't have any fines attached to their, her account. I'm going to go to the account area and I can actually see all these transactions that I just did. I can see that write-off amount and I can see the two payments. Once I'm in the checkout screen, I can see that she, has, she no longer has any more red on her account saying that she owes some money. I want to thank you so much for watching this um, Koha tutorial. This tutorial is a production of Bywater Solutions.